So, uh, this is just a video uh, in relation to some earplugs which I've uh, recently bought for shooting. Um, I used to have some Pelta, I think they're called EEPs, and they were very good. Um, the only thing they didn't have, there wasn't, there wasn't custom, um, so it was just a box standard, so it's a corkscrew fitting and you'd put them in. Um, the good thing about them was that you could recharge them, which was very, very handy. Um, sound quality wasn't too bad. Uh, but like I say, what I wanted, I wanted like a custom fit, so I decided to sell them and move on. Um, so what I originally did, uh, did a bit of research and obviously see which ones were available. Uh, there's like Swatcom, the CFG and the Sens. Uh, the Sens were a little bit too expensive for me, like touching £700, maybe, well, they can pay a lot more than that. And I wasn't really willing to spend that amount of money, so I started just looking about. Um, at the Pull Magazine, at the Pull Magazine, uh, did a review of the Swatcom SC20 Enhanced. Uh, when I read it, uh, it seemed all good, all singing, all dancing. I think it was about £330, something along them lines. Um, you had to obviously get your own impressions unless you could make your way down there. So, I did in the south of the country, I'm in the northwest of the country, so that really wasn't going to happen. So, I had my own fitted, and I think it cost about £50, sent them down. Um, you know, the quick turnaround, I think it was like three weeks, but I had some issues when they actually arrived. Um, so they come in like a little case like this, little box that's well presented. Um, and the one they actually, these are actually around, these are the my brothers. Uh, they come in a little case like that, but what you also get with it as well is a little tube, a sort of ear lube, and you get some batteries as well, uh, which is quite good. And then within the package, you get your moulds. Um, so these are the custom moulds which uh, you receive back. Um, mine uh, was something similar. And what literally happens is your little sort of electrical device sort of screws into the, uh, if that's the best way you can put it. Um, and then you've got to put it in your ear. And the, the, what I found, the problem, which I did have quite a few times, I was a bit scared. Um, the device you get is made out of plastic and on the front of it is a battery cap so literally as you're trying to put that into your ear you're sort of pushing it and trying to twirl it around and it's it wasn't really great um, when I got mine both the devices didn't work which wasn't a good start I wasn't really happy with um, the staff were tremendous when the sports were on the phone sent them back um, I was just expecting a brand new pair but what they did I think they tried to repair the the pair had already bought and they sent them back again and then one didn't work and one did work uh, so obviously I wasn't happy at all with obviously the quality of the product um, how it fitted they always they just felt a little bit flimsy to me especially trying to get even mountain in my ear they didn't feel great didn't feel secure um, like I said it just wasn't for me I'm not that dissing their product at all um, the other people that may be fantastic uh, like I say in the pull magazine the guy had nothing but good words to say about him but unfortunately I didn't sort of have that experience um, and like I say they were really really good the guys and the girls on the phone uh, couldn't be nothing more, more apologetic to obviously what had happened uh, my, my experience and there was no issue uh, in giving me a refund but like I say uh, that, that wasn't for me so after that, um, I then started doing some more digging around and then I looked at the CFG stuff. Uh, it's quite a bit of stuff on YouTube about them and obviously uh, I think Johnny Carter has me did a review uh, from the gun show. Uh, so I decided to sort of look at that and uh, try and get some of them. Uh, what I can say was the, ex the experience I've had with the, the CFG uh, sort of company has been fantastic. Um, initially I had a home visit uh, I think I paid for them in December, I think it was early January, I'm sorry, late January, uh, they come down and fitted them, um, the earpieces, the guy was here, bang on time, I mean, literally to the minute, friendly lad, come in, literally told me the process, it must have been here maybe five minutes of that, in and out, pleasant experience, and like I say, he was a friendly lad, and uh, can't really fault him, uh, time, keeping everything else like that, fantastic. Uh, explain the process, so it could be, I think they do tell you something along the lines of uh, six to eight weeks. 
uh, sold. I think that was on Saturday. I think it was on the Tuesday. You get or well, you get given a link, uh, so you can track the progress. On the Tuesday, I was checking it, and it was everything regarding the plastic bit. The mold's all been done, lacquered, drilled. So I was like, happy days. I want to get me stuff a bit quicker, but unfortunately, it didn't. It's uh, the only downside was it did literally take about eight weeks, uh, probably maybe a little bit longer. Um, basically, just waiting for the little electronic police uh, there, where you can see the um, ring up every now and then. Do a bit of my to see what's going on, trying not pass them too much. And the people are always sort of more than accommodating where we spoke to. Um, I, was, I think I spoke to one of the guys and I was sort of saying, like, how long is it going to be? And obviously, again, they were saying, yeah, appreciate it. it's going to be a while. We'll wait on the, ele the electronic parts. Uh, but he said, in the meantime, we can send you a blank part. So it's a great, if you can do that, it's fantastic because I can't stand wearing over ear protection. Um, so originally, um, they sent blue earpiece out um obviously in this case uh, with this little tool and it comes i don't know if you can see like two little blocks and they're just like well th that one's actually like a passive valve if you see the silk because what i did because i didn't want to wait i bought a passive valve as well because uh, i do like to hear what's going on when i'm shooting a little bit um but i really couldn't tell much difference be, be honest with you with the, the passive one on just the normal blocks but again, the guy went over his, went out of his way to uh, try and help me uh, sort my problem out. So they sent them out first, which I was happy with, quite happy. Um, then after a while, um, actually received uh, the electronic parts. Um, it's compared to the Swatcom SC20, it was mu it's much more substantial. I'm trying to see if I can flick it out with one hand, he says. You can see, like, just bear with me. The SC20, it was all plastic. So the front of it looked pretty much like what the front of that does. Uh, but the whole casing's plastic. Uh, where this, I think it's uh, aluminium. So it's a lot, lot more stronger. It's The way it's constructed is absolutely way better. Um, the way it fits into the earpiece, it's very simple. It just literally just pop it down like that, a bit of an angle, and push it in, and it goes in dead easy. It couldn't be any more easier. And then when you actually come to fit it in your ear, uh, with the SC twenties, it was quite hard. Um, felt like you're putting pressure on the battery case, and it, like I said before, it, it didn't, just didn't feel great. This is completely different. I don't have that issue. There's like plenty of sort of meat on the bone. To sort of grab all of it and try and fit it into your ear without touching on the uh, actual sort of electronic parts. Um, so I was really sort of amazed um, with how good it fitted. Very solid, very comfortable, not an issue at all. The only thing I did uh, notice, and I think this is just because uh, the way it is, when you start putting it into, into your ear, obviously there's some sort of uh, device there, I don't know, I don't know the electrics part of it, would pick up the sound. Um, if you start, as soon as you put it into your ear, and obviously your hand's making t contact with it, it does make a bit of a squeal and noise. Um, but as soon as your hand's away, it just sort of settles, finds itself, and you don't get no issue with it whatsoever. As I say, when I pull my beanie hat on over the top of it, there's a little bit of rustling, there's a little bit of sort of squealing, literally four seconds didn't take that long at all um and then it and it again it was it was not a problem um clarity really clear obviously i think it's got like settings on it um which i'm not too sure what they were uh because i literally had to google it um so i don't know whether that was because i received my ear pieces separately from my ear plugs um that generally I don't know if they're all sort of given out on one sort of bundle of instructions and everything. I know that with the first delivery of what came, it tell you how to actual fit uh, the earplugs in, which is fine. But as regards to the settings, you'll see a little tiny button there on the right hand side. I think this one's got four settings and as soon as you put it in, it's like in the highest sort of sensitivity. Uh, and then if that's a little bit too much for you, um, for, I mean, for example, today I've had them in uh, I, I just met one of the lads at the clubhouse and I put him in and it was quite sort of loud, a bit too loud to be honest with you because obviously it sort of 
enhances the sound so I just pushed it down once just to knock it down a little bit so it just wasn't as too harsh if that's the right word to say not that that was bad because it, it really really isn't but when you go outside it, it just makes so much of a difference it's absolutely fantastic um yeah so like you said I, I did, it come in two deliveries like in, in a bit of a thin cardboard case there's not too much protection with it to be honest with you um so especially uh with the earpieces um it just comes like in a small sort of snap bag i mean if it, if it were to be like uber uber critical um the SWAT comes do sort of pack and present theirs uh, quite well. Uh, with, with, with the CFG ones, they don't, but it, I mean, it doesn't really matter. I mean, I don't know if they're just trying to keep costs down or something along them lines. And that is fine. Uh, but maybe, maybe just because I've had mine in two deliveries rather than one go. Um, so, yeah, so that's a little tool I send you, which comes in handy. So a little rod on the end just to pop your batteries out uh, when you're changing them. And I think there's a little sort of grip on the end of it to try and pull um, the little device out if you're struggling with them. But I, I'll be honest with you, I don't think you need, you'll need them. It's quite easy to take them in and out by hand. Um, the only sort of other issues I had with it, it's not an issue. Um, it's just like the choice of colour. I mean, I was looking for like a luminous yellow or green, but unfortunately you're limited by your colours um, with CFG. And like I say, that's not the worst thing in the world. It really, really is. And at the end of the day, what, what it's all about, it's about the product uh, and the quality. And like I say, it's, it's a well-constructed product. And the sound is absolutely fantastic. Um, the, the people to deal with have been really, really great. I mean, more than helpful to sort of try and help you sort of get where you want to get uh obviously like mather and pestering but same with anything else i suppose they're always waiting on supplies and like you say if you had to be a little bit critical about it it's um and they know they made it aware of it it's just a bit of a wait uh but now i've got them couldn't be more pleased to be honest with you um hands down literally compared to the sc20s and they're absolute different league um, I mean, I think the SC20 is worth, I think, I think it was 330, something like that. And I think these were around 400. Uh, but, I mean, for, for the £70, I mean, the difference, it's, it's black and white. It really, really is. It doesn't even compare to it. I mean, I, I don't know anybody who owns a pair of Sens, but I really don't see how we could get much better. Um, and these are the lower standard uh, of electrical digis i think they do like another one that's got a lot more settings i think it's got eight settings on uh but for me that's fine uh like i said I'm quite happy with that um i mean for me i think the only things where they could be improved like i say is the colors like a, a, a yellow or a green luminous especially if you if you do take them out and you drop out of your bag it'll be easy to see uh, a bit more color option would be gray uh and the case um I'm probably just being a bit pedantic now. Um, I mean, I bought this other case um, just off eBay. And just all I can do is like literally put my piece on both sides of that net and put my spare batteries in. When we take my batteries out, I can just put them out other sorts of little uh, metal tube. Uh, but again, that's not a big deal. It really, really isn't. Um, but yeah, definitely really I, I couldn't say definitely to, if you if you're interested in getting a pair i would definitely get a pair um i say i've had reviews on other sorts of items and sometimes you can't actually believe what you hear especially you no know, one's coming from some it's not from a impartial sort of perspective but there's a lot of reviews on the internet about these and they, they are you can actually believe what you read and they are really really good um, so yeah I think the only way you could possibly sort of improve on these is if you could in any way shape or form sort of have them as a rechargeable um, sort of earpiece I mean that's what I do miss about me uh, Peltor EEPs that I was literally you come from your shoot put a USB charger on it put them in off you go and there's like no filling around with batteries I mean it's not the worst thing in the world just trying to change a battery but it's a little bit fiddly but it's de it's definitely worth it for um, the product and what it provides so yeah get a pair if you want them definitely i would definitely recommend them and obviously i'm not getting uh, anything back from this 
It's just um, if I can offer a bit of advice and help somebody else who's making a choice, that obviously is done partial, and that's what I found. Right, thanks a lot.